If you are tired of paying the $20 or $200 subscriptions for your ChatGPT, hold on to your wallets because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can install an O1-like model, a thinking model on your laptop. I'm talking about DeepSeek. DeepSeek released the R1 model completely open source on GitHub on 20th of January 2025. The reason why it has been making waves is that it is a 671 billion parameter model which is extremely tiny compared to the OpenAI O1 model which is rumored to have 1 trillion parameters or actually even more than that. Also, it is available for free on GitHub and you can try it out on chat.deepseek.com by just enabling the deep think and uh, you should be able to use it right away. Of course, it since a lot of people are using it now, you might find that the website is down sometimes, which is alright. Alright, let's get into the installation. First things first, you need to download Olama. Olama is an application that lets you download all of these uh, local models on your system and run them very easily. So I'll just hit the download button. I'll select Mac OS because that's what I'm on. You can go with Windows or Linux depending on your operating system. We'll just wait for it to download. Alright, now we have downloaded the Olama uh, zip file. Just double click to extract it on Mac or right click and extract them on Linux or Windows. And you should have the application file. The process of installation is going to be different for different operating systems. Just follow through the prompts. Uh, this is a very straightforward installation. So, I have Llama installed on my system now. And uh, I'll just open terminal. And I'll see if Olama is installed. Awesome. So, if you see this output, you know that Olama is ready. The next thing we need to do is go to models and uh, you'll see a lot of models here. If you don't find the DeepSeek uh, model right here when you're watching this video, type in DeepSeek and you should see all the DeepSeek models that were released open source and available for download. We'll go to DeepSeek R1. Uh, for most modern computers, the 1.5 billion parameter or the 7 billion parameter model should work just fine. Uh, if you have a more powerful computer, you can try the 14 billion or 32 billion parameter model and so on. Uh, what I'll do is I'll install the 14 billion parameter model. And uh, I already have the uh, I already have the model installed on my laptop due to the fact that it's a 9 gig model and there's no point showing the installation to you. There's absolutely nothing. Just copy this command. Put it, enter it in your terminal and wait for it to start. And the moment the installation is complete, you should be greeted with this. I can just say. As you can see, it's, it's not the fastest model, uh, but it does work. So you're fine. Mm, let me show you. The, how, how it goes through the think, thinking process. Now let's see what the model outputs after the think. So here the thinking stops and it gives us an output. It says you start with three apples, you ate two apples, so three minus two is one, one apple remaining, some, someone gave you one apple. And you have two apples. Perfect. Okay, now as you see, the thinking is pretty conversational. It seems like the model is talking to itself and actually thinking, which is an extremely learned behavior. And uh, you'll also see that the model talks talks to itself in a very human-like manner. And it even had its own aha moments where it kind of was going through a math problem and it figured out the math problem and it said, oh my God, I reached an aha moment and here's the solution. Once you have the DeepSeek model installed on your system, how do you go about and uh, install a web UI? So if you see this, I have the open web UI installed and I can talk to the DeepSeek models right from a computer and I can even have web search enabled. Okay, so I gave a DeepSeek a problem and uh, here's what the output looks like. So how do you install this uh, 
open web UI on your system, it's extremely easy. If you have Docker desktop, this is going to be a one step process. If not, you just have to install the Docker desktop or Docker from online and uh, go to GitHub, open web UI. The button uh, where they talk about Docker. And uh, since we are installing Olama on this computer, we will just use this command and paste this. Now, since I already have it on my system, it will not install the container again. But if you hit enter after the command, it will go through the pulling of manifests and uh, you should have the open web UI available right on your uh, Docker desktop. And then if you just hit the port or just go to localhost 3000, you should have the open web UI interface right in front of you with all the models that you have installed here. And uh, that's for the tutorial today. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and uh, we will get back to you.